Did you ever see anything as low or as long or as terrific in your life? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. The new 1957 Chevrolet. Did you ever see anything as long, as low, or more terrific? This 210 sports sedan is a perfect example. The new Chevrolet is big and long, two and a half inches longer. The hood is lower by an inch and a half at the cowl line. Sweeping horizontal lines point up its long, low silhouette. A style-setting feature of the new Chevrolet is the completely new front treatment. New bumper, grille, and hood. Rocket-type ornaments with fins set off the twin wind split of the hood for zip in the 1957 manner. The massive all-new bumper grille combination adds to the width and the low, road-hugging look of real luxury cars. A bumper of this size and solidness replaces lower fender corners and does away with the old-type bumper guards. The lattice grille is silver anodized aluminum. This means that the color is actually part of the metal. There's no plating to pit, chip, flake, or tarnish, or rust. New parking lights are inset at the ends of the center bar. Say, headlights are farther apart, aren't they? Much farther apart, and recessed under the fender hoods for new flair and style. Bright metal trim surrounds each light. The upper half is the high-level air intake grill for the heater and ventilation. The large V identifies V8 models. There's a new impression of speed in the new front fender lines brought out by the three vertical D-shaped louvers. New high-fashion rear fenders blend into the new bumper guard and taillight combination. Distinctive side molding treatment clearly defines two-tone color styling. New 14-inch wheels are standard equipment on all models. Tires have a fatter, richer, and more comfortable big car look. And the new hubcaps give the new wheels an extra touch of smartness. In the rear, new chrome-tipped fins add real width. Bumper and guards are joined in one unit and form the lower portion of the fender, same as they do in front. Say, I like those new taillights. Thought you would. The upper quarter houses the taillight, stoplight, and directional signals. There's space for optional backup lights recessed in the lower bumper guard section. Pretty neat gas filler door. Yes, the fender crown molding swings open sideways. It works on a spring-loaded hinge. No latch is needed to keep it shut. And there's a new gas tank filler vent to help prevent gasoline overflow. Man, did you ever see anything so... So sleek, so roomy? It is. New fabrics, new seat design, and new luxury. A deep overhanging crown extending the entire width of the instrument panel increases the impression of spaciousness. A recessed cove houses a completely new instrument cluster. This command post control panel sets the pace in the industry for styling with a purpose. For example, the radio speaker is centered at the top of the instrument panel cover for better sound distribution. The rear view mirror here takes full advantage of the sports sedan glass area through its new low level position. In other models, the mirror retains its high level location. The new steering wheel is designed with safety in mind. The hub is deeply recessed and the two spoke design allows a clear view of the instruments at all times. 210 in script on the hub and the bright metal horn ring add another touch of style to the interior. Interiors are completely restyled for even more comfort and luxury. Seats are better looking with smart new styling. Even the armrests are restyled. Upholstery in 210 sedan and hardtop models is in pleasing and sturdy nylon-faced material. Color keyed at no extra cost to the exterior color. Hardwearing vinyl protects the hardware spots. Rubber floor mats front and rear are also vinyl coated. They're tough and good looking too. In all, there are eight models in the 1957 210 series, counting this beautiful four-door sports sedan, and every one is a real beauty. Like to see them? Sure would. These are the 210 two-door and four-door sedans. Notice how the molding from front to rear sets off the 210's color styling. 210 Club Coupe? Yes, the Del Rey. It's smart, economical, and has a really distinctive interior. Delray interiors are all vinyl in contrasting tones, finely accented in rich saddle stitching. 
easy to clean, and its beauty lasts and lasts. Say, I could use that one. And this 210 Sport Coupe is at home anywhere. It's a real sleek hardtop. What about station wagons? In the 210 series, there's a two-door, six-passenger handyman and a four-door, six-passenger townsman. Both are outstanding in cargo space and sedan comfort, all in the same smart-looking car. And to top it off, here's the four-door, nine-passenger Beauville. For a family car and a dual-purpose cargo carrier, can you beat it? Uh, can I see inside? By all means. Cushions, backrest, and sidewall trim, all vinyl. Rear seat ashtrays are now found in all 210 and Bel Air station wagons. As singles on front seat backs in four-door wagons. As dual trays, one in each rear quarter trim panel in two-door wagons. This puts rear seat ashtrays in every 210 and Bel Air model. Oh. And now can I see the 150s? These are the 150 sedans. A two and a four-door. You see, this Series 2 has its exclusive side styling in color and in chrome treatment. Real smart. And it's smart business to do business in the sleek, handsome beauty of the 1957-150 utility sedan. And for the traveling man, there's plenty of carrying space. Interior trim of the 150 sedan models features gray and black tones in nylon and rayon-faced cobblestone pattern cloth. Rich, black, leather-grained vinyl facings match the all-vinyl sidewall styling. Ideal and economical choice for a second car, suited for either passengers or cargo or both, is the 150 two-door, six-passenger handyman. Interiors of the 150 handyman are in cobblestone pattern washable vinyl with leather-grained vinyl throughout. Black rubber mats are used on the floor with linoleum on the load area. And now... The beautiful Bel Air. For 57 Bel Air's traditional beauty is given added distinction by adding gold. Gold grill work, gold nameplate, gold emblems, gold V's to make the Bel Air even more breathtaking. These rich touches are made possible by the use of gold anodized aluminum, which won't tarnish, chip, or peel. This optional silver anodized aluminum rear quarter paneling forms a rich background for the gold anodized aluminum Bel Air nameplate and crest. This panel is used only in combination with the optional bright metal sill moldings. Bright metal from window to rear fender peaks underlines the sweep of the side chrome. Front fender louvers are also of gold anodized aluminum. Wheel discs are entirely new and exclusively Bel Air. Quality is the theme inside, too. Bright metal instrument panel cold framing and aluminum center panel. Bright metal control knob trim. Rich Bel Air nameplate and V on the steering wheel hub. And master craftsmanship in upholstery and appointments. And these are the Bel Air sedans. Smart, graceful, in perfect styling taste. Super cars for super highways. Yeah, you said it. And then there's the magnificent Bel Air sports sedan. Real sports car flash, plus hard top dash with four-door convenience and comfort. In fact, all the Bel Airs have it, and plenty of it. For instance, the Nomad, Bel Air's two-door, six-passenger station wagon. Have you ever seen more outdoor look in metal and chrome? It just plain belongs on fishing trips, vacations, country club dances with young and old. And tops in an all-year-round, all-purpose family car is this new model, the Bel Air four-door, six-passenger Townsman. Bel Air sedans and the Townsman station wagon display similar nylon and vinyl luxury in upholstery and sidewall trim. Bright plastic welts separate the trim areas. Deep carpeting covers floors in sedans, vinyl-coated rubber in the Townsman station wagon. Entirely different seat and sidewall designs of nylon-faced pattern cloth and vinyl are featured in the Bel Air Sport Sedans, Sport Coupe, and Nomad. Convertible interiors feature golf ball pattern vinyl instead of the nylon-faced cloth. Carpeting covers both front and rear compartment floors in these models. And now, the Bel Air Convertible 1957. Did you ever see anything as long, as low, or as... Terrific! And with the top down, 
It sure takes the cake. Chevrolet usually does. Would you like to see more? There's more? Oh, yes, indeed. The Corvette, the 20th model in the 1957 Chevrolet line. Did you ever in your life see such a terrific sports car? Terrific is right. And terrific is the word for every model of the 1957 Chevrolet.